Good morning, everybody. Here we are with uh, prayer point number eight. Prayer point number eight of our 21 days of prayer and fasting. And uh, <clears throat> we've, we've kicked out the first seven uh, prayer points already. Uh, but today's prayer point is on expectation. Expectation. And the scripture uh, we have is Hebrews 10, 23. Let us hold fast to the confession of our hope. Uh, without wavering, just say without wavering out loud wherever you're at. For he who promised is faithful. Uh, Isaiah 55, 11 says the word of the Lord will not return void, but it uh, won't come back until it has accomplished that which it was set out to do. And so uh, the prayer point today is expectation over your life and around your life. And I understand all the stuff that's going on uh, even last year and the years before and the stuff that you've been uh, dealing with, uh, the stuff that you've been struggling with, the stuff that you've brought from year to year to year, wondering God when, God why, and, and all this stuff. And I'm here to tell you today, God wants to, to, to put back into you a spirit of expectation uh, that God is faithful, that God is good, that God is going to move, that God has heard your prayers, that God has heard your cries, that God is going to do exceedingly abundantly above all that you could ever ask or think. And, and I know you've prayed the prayers a long time. I know you've, you've wrestled and I know you've cried and I know you've like said, God, do you even see me? God, do you even hear me? I'm here to tell you today, there is a fresh impartation of expectation that is going to rest on you today in this year and beyond but not just like an expectation uh the the word expectation actually means the the assurance that it will happen and so there's going to be a fresh uh uh, impartation that is resting on you today of assurance that his word, his promises will and are coming to pass. Uh, not just for today or this month or, or this week, but for the remainder of your life, the prayers of healing, the prayers of, of, of relationships, the prayers of finance, like whatever the prayers are that you've been praying, that there's an expectation that is going to rest on you in such a way that you will not be uh, shaken, you will not be moved, you will not waver to the left or to the right, but there's this expectation that's going to rest on you again because your hope isn't in the things going on around you. Your hope is in Jesus. Your hope is in the cross. Your hope is in the fact that if God spoke it, he is faithful and just to do it and to fulfill it. And so I just want to pray over you real quickly this morning as we as we spend our, our, our day today uh, praying for expectation that God would revive and renew expectation in and over your life today. So Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for your people, God, and we thank you that today is a day of great expectation. Today is a day of great hope. Today is a day of, of great assurance that you are faithful and you will do what you've said and what you promised. And Father, for the people that have wavered, for the people that have wondered, for the people that have asked questions, or, the, or for the people that have just said to themselves, well, it is how it's going to be. God, I pray that today there would be a, a renewing and a reviving of expectation that would rest on them today. God, that they wouldn't waver from your word. They wouldn't waver from your promises. They would, they would remember Remember the prophetic words that have been spoken over their lives, God, that they would grab hold of it and they would begin to run with it, God, that expectation would arise, that hope would arise. God, their hope isn't in the, in the stuff happening around them, but God, their hope is firmly planted on Christ the solid rock. And God, as everything else is sinking, as everything else is drifting around them, God, you're the rock. You're the foundation that doesn't move. And so, Father, we just speak expectation, renewed expectation, renewed hope hope, renewed focus, renewed assurance on your word, God, that if you said it, it will be done. And so, Father, today we just give you praise. We give you glory. And Father, we focus on the fact that you are faithful. You are good. You've never, ever, ever, ever failed us. And you never, ever, ever, ever will fail us. So, Father, we thank you that your word is yes and amen. And so, Father, we, we just declare that today. We declare that, that, that scripture again, Hebrews 10, 23. Let us hold fast. Don't let go to the confession of our hope. 
without favoring. Father, we thank you that th these people, your body, your church is not a wavering people, but God, we are standing firm people. We are a people that aren't going to draw back, but we're going to push forward. It doesn't matter what the, what the noise is around us, but God, we are a people that will not waver, that will not be shaken because what you have promised, you are faithful to do. So Father, we just give you praise. We give you glory today. We love you and we thank you for the expectation that is coming over your people today in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Wow. We love you guys. Uh, hey, if you haven't had a chance to, to if you missed yesterday and uh, you, you didn't hear Bernice's message, uh, go back and, and, and listen to it. Wow. Uh, the river of God is flowing. And I'm going to do a video uh, later today on, on one of the scriptures she used yesterday that just really uh, struck me. Uh, I, I've heard it a hundred times and you probably heard it a hundred times as well, but I just never, I mean, just some, the way it came across. And so I just want to encourage you a little bit. I'm not sure when that video will be done at all, but, uh, stay, stay on the lookout for that. And, uh, man, God's good. Uh, let your expectation arise. Let your hope arise. Uh, your hope is not in the sinking sand. Your hope is not in the economy. Your hope is not in the government. Your hope is not in the school system and things like that. Your hope is in Jesus and, uh, your expectations can, 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 uh, it look, and I, I get it. Like we all go through stuff, right? Like we're, some of us have had health issues forever. Some of us have had relational issues or financial issues or, or, or we're just, just stuff. But guess what? God is good. And if he spoke to you, and, and if his word says, I am the God that healeth thee, guess what? He's the God that's going to heal you. He's going to God, God that's restore you. And so he's going to set your feet on solid rock. Uh, so don't waver. Don't waver. Don't question his word. Don't question him. Uh, just rest in him. Remain in him. And he will be faithful uh, and just to fulfill his word because that's the kind of God he is. So anyways, we love you. Uh, I hope to talk to you later today. Uh, Man, we got we got just so much going on right now. Uh, prayer every night this week at seven o'clock. We've got uh, we've got youth on on Wednesday at seven. Uh, ladies ministry kicks back off tomorrow night at six thirty. Uh, new life tomorrow night at six thirty. Uh, just a lot going on. So small groups are up and running. So if you want to know a, a group where a group is for you to get involved in and you get it plugged in, in uh, go to the website ignitefaithchurch.org and uh, click on the small groups link there uh, under ministry, I think it is, and, uh, and you'll be able to find a small group leader to reach out to, to connect to, and begin to do community and life together. So anyways, we love you guys. Uh, have a great Monday. This is going to be a great week for you. Uh, God's moving. He's touching you. He's speaking to you. And I just, I just declare and decree the fire of God to rest over you today and this week in Jesus' name in a fresh and new way. So uh, we love you guys, and we will talk to you hopefully later today. If not, we will talk to you tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye.